So it's um, minus 21 outside. Icy, cold. Not too good to be outdoors. So what do you do? Oh, I thought I'd take this opportunity and talk about our scene. I've got my coffee, so that's very important. And I thought I'd talk about quickly talk about these tyres, these wheels. When I've got these wheels, these are for my 110 buggy, and they're rubbish for in the snow, in the ice, no grip. So I've decided to modify, modify my tyres, and I thought I'd show, take the opportunity to show you my. Uh, 110 scale electric car. So this is what it looked like before. Um, it's a very cheap car. It's made by Really, and I think Sun Sunfire is another. I think it's a copy of Sunfire, or it's the other way around. Or I don't know. Anyway, but this is my 110, <laughs> and I've just put some stainless steel self-tapping screws <laughs> into the, in, well these are uh, tyres that have worn out completely, I was actually drifting on them and then they were getting, well actually, so why not put screws in and um, try them out, see what they go like, <laughs> got nothing to lose, I was going to throw them away anyway, but i oh, keep the screws, because they well, yeah. and so here we go, this is, um, I bought um, a second buggy as well, which was one buggy had the electrics and the second one didn't have the electrics. So I've just doubled up on some things like the uh, shock towers. Here yeah, I've actually, I actually began with actually making an aluminium shock tower just to brace the first one because it's only thin plastic because it broke after a first tap on a wall, I'd say, and it broke. And then, uh, then the phone rings annoyingly, and um, so then I put the second shock tower at the back and just doubled it. And at the moment, it's really strong. And um, the back, I've gone completely Mad Max and doubled the shocks, <laughs> doubled the uh, what do you call it, towing bars, um, and I've also doubled up the shock towers there as well. Uh, the plate at the top here, the aluminium plate, I've doubled that as well to give it a bit more, uh, a little bit more stiffness. It's not the best of, and I've done the bottom plate as well. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of bits on here which I've added and modified the, um, the steering. I've modified quite a lot. There was a thin piece of wire here which would which, which operate the, the steering. And that looked too flimsy to me, so I've I've beefed it up a little bit, and it's adjustable now. So so that's all good stuff. Um, I've put these connectors on everything now because actually they are. I was using Tamiya, and now as everyone else is using Deans, or seems to be using Deans or Traxxas. I anyway, so I tried these. They're cheap. Your females and males connectors. Really easy to put on, well, for me because I can solder. So there's my uh, uh, SC uh, speed controller. It's only a, a 35 amp one. It's very cheap, very low. Running on a brushless, brushless motor. Just your normal 540 can. Uh, this is a box which I had screws in, and it's perfect to put the uh, transmitter. So all the wires running now, it's waterproof. So that means I can take it out in the snow and if I fuck this up it wouldn't matter because these are cheap as bloody out peanuts I suppose. Um, so there we go. The bodywork I've got hanging up, too lazy to pick it up, but I'm sure I'll post a video with it running. I've got to post a video. I'm sure people would like to see that. And I've just they've this I've screwed them in and they're sort of sticking out a little bit on the inside. So I couldn't go on the inner inside edge Otherwise, especially here on the swing arm, it would it would rub. So, um, so I've just put it on the outside. We'll try it. We'll try it. Um, the swing arms are actually from Traxxas. 
um, I'm not sure which one it is, the Stampede. So I've, anyway, I've chopped them down and I've made them fit and they are so tough, really tough. The, the, the ones that came with this were just flimsy balsa wood. Um, I've put an extension bit on the front there and just put some 4mm um, alu there just to give it a little protection. It does flex so it's not going to hopefully, you know, but I have crashed many times with it so it's doing its job, it's protecting the, the linkage in here because it's all very 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 weak. Um, there we go, so uh, the doctor of course. <laughs> Okay, well, next video you'll probably see me bashing it and crashing it and yeah. Oh, and there's, there's my Traxxas road tyres which I put on, which I put on here. I shouldn't have done that, sound like it's scratching the table. And they're my road tyres, my chunky road tyres. These are really cool actually, they're not too bad in the snow actually. Sort of fresh, fresh snow, not too deep. They're, they're, they're nice, they're grippy. Um, but these ones are going to be interested. Okay. Thanks, son. Very nice studs. Not bad. good. It works. It works before it just will spin like mad. <laughs> right, back in from the from the ice age and um, oh, I've given it a good well, I'll say a good 25, 20 minutes, well, a good 20 minutes actually. And I just raced it on um, on snow and ice. I didn't didn't touch the black stuff. So um, they they have really held brilliantly. Really, really, really impressed. Am I getting good good focus there? Can I go more? Here we go, look, heads are still in perfect and intact. So I've just eaten some chocolate and then he spat it all over my car. Anyway, there we go, so I'm just going to thaw it out. And that was really good, that really worked. So, I, I don't know, I recommend that. I recommend it. I mean, you can ju just see the screw, the screw poking through. I've got all the screws on there, nothing's, nothing's missing. Um, brilliant. Really good. A cheap way of of having um, traction in the snow, I suppose. Snow and ice. Anyway, there we go. Great fun!